Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Coasting and yesterday we are looking at The Room on the Broom, A Magical Journey which is a walk for attraction coming over towards Chesterton Royal Adventures and in today's video we'll be looking at the construction, we'll be looking at the ride layout, we'll be looking at the when the ride is going to be opening and finally I'll be giving you my views of what I think it's going to be like all in this video. So, to start off with today, we're going to be having a quick look at the story itself of Room on the Broom. So this story is written by the same person who wrote for Gruffalo, and it's about this witch that goes on an adventure and picks up animals along the way, and then finally you have to defeat this massive dragon that is trying to capture the witch. And as she hasn't made a rider for Gruffalo already, you can see that they're now trying to get a story look towards and make a kids theme towards Chasm Tomorrow Adventures. And if we have a look at the opening of the ride, which they posted on their Twitter page on which Wednesdays, which they do every single week on Wednesday until the opening day, which I'll explain later. And on here, you can see that they have a book cupboard as well as a massive book in the centre and a cauldron underneath. So in this book, they're going to probably do a projection and project a story onto it about the room on the broom. And then the cauldron will fizzle. And then finally, you will enter through a bookcase and you will have a look at all the walkthrough and you'll see lots of the story go along as you walk through the books. And this is the only place that Chesham have approached so far on their Witch Wednesdays. And I will be doing another construction update later on talking about the other Witch Wednesdays that's coming over. But now, let's get into the construction. Before we go inside, I'm just going to show you the outside of the building. So at the moment, they are starting to make the brand new extended queue. And this queue obviously means that they're going to want to have more people entering the ride when they're doing Hocus Pocus Hall. So that means they're going to up the ride a little bit, make it a lot better than Hocus Pocus Hall was. And you can already see it by the sign which is going to get put above the door. And this sign is going to have the room on the room resting on it, as well as all the characters above it. And then just above that as well, they are going to add a broom into the window, like the window smash with the broom going through it. And I think so far the outside looks ten times better than the ride that used to be, which used to be Hocus Pocus Hall. And I really think that this is the right time to change the Hocus Pocus Hall as it has been dropping loads and loads of people who used to like riding it and it just now got old and tatty. And now I'm going to be showing you the inside. So not many people have done it and I do not know the quality of this video. But we had a quick look through one of the windows inside and the whole mirror mode have been taken down. And over here, you can see the old statue it used to be in Hocus Pocus Hall. And obviously they're all taking it into shipping and everything, but this is where the statue that used to be the guy in the bed used to sit. And if you look just to the left of it, there's actually a guy on the floor nailing down some wooden boards. So I don't know how the end is going to be of the wooden boards, but that is also going to be the end room before you leave out of that door that I was filming out of. And that is going to be a really good way to end it. And half they do end it, they have already started making it. And this is probably why they're opening it so soon. And that is what I'll be talking about in one second. So just before I move on to the opening, I'm going to talk about what the ride layout itself is going to be. And at the moment, we only know what one room is going to look like, which is a starting room where they tell you the story. But as the track goes, you're going to keep on going through that magical door. And you're going to be going round the route, which is roughly a two minute route. If you see that POV of Hocus Pocus Hall, you can roughly see how the layout's going to be of it. But you go through a story and you'll be told from the witch a story about what happened. So you'll be seeing, I'm my predicting that there's going to be like TVs on the walls. So they're telling you the story, like the Gruffalo lift hill is at the moment. And you'll be seeing lots of stories going on and you'll be seeing models of the characters. And I think this will be a really, really good ride. And obviously it is a walk for attraction, not a ride, as I keep mentioning it is a ride. But it is just going to be a really, really good attraction. And I think the best part of it, in my opinion, is going to be the opening. Because that is going to be a really, really cool entrance to a ride. And how they have all the, like, wardrobe and they have the book. And as we all know, we have no idea what's in the rest of the rooms. So if the rest of the rooms are as good as the opening is then this is going to be a really, really awesome ride and I'm definitely going to keep on riding it until the ride shuts again. And now it is time not to talk about when it shuts, but to talk about when it opens and we'll be releasing now the opening tape of this Room on the Broom ride. So, 
Yes, it is time for opening of the Room on the Broom ride. So this ride opens on the 10th of March, which is the opening day of Chesington World Adventures. So, as soon as you get there, rush down to the ride, as it will have a massive queue as it is the opening. And if you have the opening, you'll be seeing us set as well, as we're going to be there filming the opening for you guys. So you should have our video as we enter there. And if you are a Merlin Pass holder, you can actually head on the ride one day early. So if you go to the preview event when the tickets will come out shortly for it, if you pick up quickly because there's only a very minimum spaces on that day, at noon you'll be allowed to have a little preview of the ride. And we'll be doing a vlog there as well. So if you are not patient enough to wait the extra day to see what the ride's going to be like, Check out our preview day vlog as that ride will be in there and it will be very excited to show you all that. And now finally, my views of the ride. So, my views of the ride is that it's going to be a really good ride because I think that it's just really good for little kids. However, my personal opinion is that it's not going to be there for an awful long time. As theme parks are now progressing, they need to get a ride into it. They can't have people just walking through. I find myself amazed and everything over at Fort Park, but I just think a walk through attraction isn't personally the best thing that they could do, especially the year before having Tiger Rock opening. I just think they should really maybe they extend out or go into the uh, cafes at the moment and the beer bar and grill place and just put like a log flume, not log flume, like a back boat ride or something that relates to room on the boom, but maybe just not a walk through because I think. Walkthroughs are quick flowing and they want people to queue up, they want people to stay to the park. And if there's someone walking through the whole time, they're not going to get a massive queue to the ride as much as they hope for as they're shown by the queues. So obviously I may be wrong and I do think this ride is going to be an absolutely amazing attraction. However, that is just my personal view of it. And please comment down below what is yours. But unfortunately now it is time to end this construction video and we'll be talking to you later on all about the, the attraction as it opens whether we do another construction beforehand we don't know that's how big the news is going to be but anyway thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe because that would be really appreciated anyway see you soon this is Bean Park Coaston and I'm Tom Derrick bye bye